Hello, it's Tammy Pally, aka the Crafty Princess and Dog Collector, and this is another bead vlog, and it's actually a follow-up to a previous uh, bead vlog that I've already videotaped and uploaded. In fact, I'm wearing the same outfit. <laughs> uh, I do find it easier to uh, videotape numerous videos at one time, um, and then go back and I have a kind of a stash of videos. So you may notice that sometimes I'm just wearing the same thing because I'm too lazy to go change my shirt. But Anyway, my previous video uh, that relates to this one had to do with random acts of jewelry and it's basically the concept is that I've been giving out jewelry randomly. I might be at the cash register at a grocery store and give one to the cashier. I might be at a restaurant and give jewelry to, along with a tip, okay, it's not in lieu of, but in addition to a generous tip to the waitress, I will also sometimes include a pair of earrings. Um, and maybe a business card. I've started to do that because because people have been asking me. So um, I thought it might be a good idea to you know put them kind of together. I'm kind of working on the packaging of that. I might get bigger. I don't know. I might try to find. I think I actually have some larger Ziplocs that I can use for that. So anywho, um, the related topic is relates to the idea of uh, jewelry making and also other types of crafts. I guess as well might fall into this. I, this situation but when you start making jewelry I notice one of the things that a lot of uh, newbies struggle with is what do I do with all of this jewelry what do I do with it I've been making jewelry uh, well I started in high school but I would say I've been seriously making jewelry as far as um, you know selling it writing about it that kind of thing for at least easily 20 years now and um, yeah you accumulate a lot of stuff you accumulate a lot of jewelry and even in fact sometimes I'm writing about jewelry and then I'm writing a tutorial and then it, maybe it's in a magazine or it's for, for one of my books or something well I still end up with jewelry at the end what do I do with that jewelry so um, and there's only so much jewelry one person can wear right I mean I have uh, I, I have to confess I have a, a lot of jewelry most of it I've made uh, but um, but yeah what do you do with that all I, and, and does it deter you from continuing to do something you enjoy? I had a conversation recently with a friend of mine who years ago was really, really into jewelry making. Um, she is especially a bead weaver, but she also does bead stringing as well and a, you know, a little bit of wire work here and there. And like, like myself, she used to do shows. In fact, we, we were on some of the same circuits. She would do art shows just like I would do. And um, it got to the point where it was uh, very discouraging, you know, she just wasn't selling. Like, she, you know, if you've ever done that type of thing, sometimes you'll have a really great show and you sell like crazy. And then, then you have a really horrible show. And, you know, so it's a roller coaster thing and it can be um, very uh, disheartening if you're, if you, you know, take it personally that you're not selling your work. Um, so she stopped doing it for that reason. And then life situations, things happen. She had issues with her parents that she had to take care of them and, and all this other stuff kind of got in the way of her jewelry making and she really didn't do very much. She kind of barely dabbled in it. And now years later, she's kind of thinking about getting into it again and she has a ton of supplies. She could open a bead shop easily, not a problem, okay? Um, and she likes it, she likes doing it. But when she was talking to me, she said, I just don't know what I would do with the jewelry because even though kind of like with my random acts of jewelry she has for years given jewelry to people she knows she hasn't like done it randomly to strangers like I've been doing but um, like if she goes to uh, you know the gym or something and she knows some some women there and she sees that oh wow she's wearing that lady who tends to wear blue a lot she might say something like hey I have some earrings you know would you like me to make some earrings I'll give them to you free um, I have beads that match that that shirt you know that kind of thing so she's been doing that for a while and that's what I asked her about so why don't you just keep doing that well she says I don't I just don't get out as much her health has been bad so she's had to you know been recuperating from various health issues um, so she doesn't get out as much and so she doesn't see a lot of her uh, social friends or social network network or you know face-to-face -face friends that much and um, so I said you know the thing is though if you find joy if you are happy making jewelry um, the process of making it makes you happy then that's what you should do you should make it I mean especially considering She's, she's got plenty of supplies. She could walk into her little bead area tomorrow in her, in her home and, you know, make it 
She doesn't have to go buy anything. It's not going to cost her any money. Um, she has the time. She's retired now. So why not do something that makes you happy? Why do you have to get so um, concerned about the outcome of the product that you create? You know, and I guess this kind of goes back to the idea of process versus product. I enjoy the process of crafting. I enjoy the process of making items. And I have really gotten to the point where I'm not going to concern myself so much with what am I going to do with it afterwards. Yes, it would be nice to sell my finished jewelry. Yes, I want to keep writing jewelry making books and I plan to do that. Um, yes, I will make things sometimes and post them on my blog. But I also want to still enjoy the process. That's what started it all. So, um, so yeah, I'm putting this out there and kind of asking everybody, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Why can't you just make jewelry and, and if for no other reason just to make it, okay? Even if you never plan on wearing it and you stick it in a box and put it away in your house somewhere, why not do that, okay? What's wrong with that? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that and I want to encourage people not to get so hung up on I have to do something with this item that I made. I made this necklace, I have 10 of these necklaces, so I don't need another one. I don't have anybody to give this to. I have to do something with it. And if I don't, well, now I can't make another one. Well, that's ridiculous. Did you like making that necklace? Did that necklace um, give you joy to make? Was there anything wrong with it? Like you, you didn't go into debt, right, to make that necklace or you didn't, um, you know, ignore your your children who need you or, you know, whatever. I mean, if, if there's nothing really wrong with what you're doing and what you're doing makes you happy why don't you do it more so I want to encourage everybody to do that if you like to make jewelry make your jewelry if you want to give it to people fine if you want to sell it fine but don't get all hung up on that don't feel like you have to do that oh I have to sell this uh, now I have to open an Etsy shop because what else am I going to do with all this jewelry that opens up an entirely new issue because I'm going to tell you from someone that's happened to me, you know, many times now. Um, when you create something and for, jo for just the joy of it, the happiness of it, and then you turn it into a business, it is a job. And it's not so much fun anymore. It's not as fun as you think it would be, especially when you have deadlines. And I'm still not against doing that. I'm still doing it myself. But I'm also going to let myself occasionally go into my jewelry spot and just make stuff. I'm just going to make jewelry because I want to. I'm not going to take pictures of every single step. I'm not going to take notes about every single, single thing. I'm not going to like, oh, I've got to measure this piece of wire so that I write down that that was four inches. I'm not doing that sometimes. Sometimes I'm just going to go in there and enjoy myself. And I want to encourage everybody else to do the same. And as usual, I'm interested in what you think about uh, this idea of just making jewelry or any craft for that matter, just for the sheer pleasure of doing it. Have a wonderful day as usual. Thumbs up, sharing is appreciated, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching.